On January 4, 1976, Elvis decides to fly to Colorado for a vacation. After cheering into a Denver hotel, Elvis dispatches Joe Esposito and two Denver police officers, Jerry Kennedy and Ron Petrafso, to drive to Vail, so they can find enough rental accommodation for the group. On January 8, Elvis spends the evening of his 41st birthday in a rental home on the slopes of Vail. He is together with Jerry Schilling and Myrna Smith, who have been living together for more than a year, and will eventually get married. Many of the guys, and their wives and girlfriends, have been taking skiing lessons, but Elvis who is wearing a full face ski mask during the day, do mostly only appears on the slopes, at night, in a rented ski mobile. Linda Thompson remembers their visit, as standout memories. She said, it was my first time on skis. I didn't know how to ski. I was barreling downhill on skis, but didn't know how to stop, so Elvis had to say stop her. And so he did. Red West tackled her. Linda was also making homemade spaghetti, that Joe Esposito called Southern Spaghetti, because she overcooked the pasta. After a skiing accident with Dean, son of Dr. Nick, they need to get to a hospital in a hurry. Dr. Nick remembers. When we finally arrived, at the local hospital, I pulled out my Blue Cross Shield insurance card, with the name Elvis Presley Enterprises, printed on it and handed it to the busy receptionist. She must have thought, she was being cute, cause she smirked back. Yeah, so where is Elvis? Still wearing his ski mask, Elvis looked around, left and right, up and down. Then he answered mischievously. He is here, somewhere. Their receptionist shot back. And who are you? Elvis replied. The Lone Ranger. But she had already returned to her paperwork, paying no attention to the silly masked man. Please subscribe, so you can watch more stories, that is on the way. You can already find more than 100 videos about Elvis Presley on our playlist. <laughs>